Hello friends, in this video we will see the top 10 Facebook or Meta now interview questions. So let's see, the first problem is merge intervals. So in this problem you are given a list of intervals. So an interval has one beginning and one end. So you are given tuples. So 1, 3 means it starts at 1, ends at 3. Then 2, 6 means it starts at 2, ends at 6. So you are given a few intervals like that and what you have to do is to merge the overlapping intervals. So in this case you see that 1, 3 and 2, 6 overlap. This part is overlapping. So you merge them. So starting is 1 and ending is 6. So these two are replaced by 1, one 6. Then 8, 10 it starts here and ends somewhere here and 15, 18 again here. So instead of 4 now we have 3 intervals. So uh, this you can do uh, using a uh, sorting approach. So you have to sort these intervals uh, based on the starting time. This is the starting time. This is the second one is the ending time. And then uh, you have to iterate from left to right. So in this case, uh, 1, 3 is the first interval. So you see the next, the ending time of the current interval and you compare the starting time of next interval. If it's less, then we will merge. Otherwise, we will add that to the result. So let's see the next problem. Next is the LRU cache. And this I had already discussed while uh, seeing the top 10 questions for Amazon, Microsoft, etc. So this is a very popular problem. So in this, you have to implement a cache and the constructor will take some capacity. So a cache cannot hold unlimited amount of data. It will hold a certain amount of data only. So uh, when the cache is full, you have to purge certain values. So uh, the caching algorithms are what dictates those purging. So in the LRU cache, you are supposed to keep the recently used items in the cache and the items which are not used for a long time, you can purge those. So uh, this is the constructor and apart from that, you should have a function for adding a new key and value pairs in the cache and also fetching value corresponding to a given key. Now see the third problem. Uh, so this is subarray sum. So you have to uh, count the number of subarrays and subarrays are always contiguous. Subsequences may or may not be contiguous. So uh, you have to find subarrays within a given a list or array uh, which sum to a given value. So for example, in this case, the given value is 3. So how many subarrays are there which sum to a value of 3? So you see that 1 and 2, if you take this subarray, this sums to 3. And if you take this just one element, 3, then this also sums to uh, 3. So here the solution should be 2. And uh, if you want to know the approach, uh, please see my video, which I have already posted. But in short, I can say that uh, you can keep track of uh, the running sum, running cumulative sum, and uh, you keep a hash map. So till this point, sum is 1, till this point it's 3, and till here it's 6. So k is 3, so till this point it's 1. So you will see that uh, the cumulative sum minus k, whether this value exists in the uh, hash map or not. So in this case it will not. But if you come here 3, so you will see that 3 minus 3 is 0. So you can add 0 in the ma map. So uh, 3 minus 3 lies in the map. So you increment the count to 1. Then you come here, here it's 6. So you see 6 minus k that is 3 lies in the map or not. So whenever you uh, reach at an index, you also add it to the map. So when you come here, you will add 1 to the map. When you come here, you add 3 to the map and so on. So you can revise this concept and uh, see the exact solution in detail in my video. Now let's see the next uh, question. So it's called k closest points to the origin. So we have an origin in a two dimensional plane. It's 0, 0. And we have a few points. So in 2D plane, we need two coordinate values, x and y. And these are integer values. So these are the three points, 3, 3, 3, 3 is this point, 5 minus 1 is this point, and minus 2, 4 is the third point. And k is given as 2. So you have to find 
two closest points to the origin so uh, the closest one is so what is the the smallest length so if you calculate uh, it's uh, square and square root of x square plus y square so we will not calculate the exact square root but we will just compare x square plus y square because a smallest of this value will a smallest distance is same as the smallest distance square so it's uh, 3 square plus 3 square that is 18 the next one is 5 square plus 1 that is 26 and the last one is uh, 4 square that is 16 plus 4 that is 20 so this is 26 so the two closest points would be the first one and third one that's why you see 3 3 and minus 2 4 now let's see the fifth problem it's uh, implementing a basic calculator and there are uh, different versions of basic calculator in this version you have to just uh, you are given a string and that a string will contain operators one of the four operators plus minus uh, asterisk and division you will have a few integers and you can also have spaces so you can see one space here here you can also have more spaces in the end also you see or it may not be present the space so you have to calculate the output so in this case 5 divided by 2 is 2 so you have to truncate the integral value uh, the division values so 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 but we will take 2 so 3 plus 2 is 5 so the output is 5 next question is vertical order traversal of binary tree again uh, there may be different uh, val uh, variations of this problem so in this case uh, you have to iterate the tree in this fashion vertical fashion up top to down column wise column by column top to bottom and uh, if nodes you will see that these are at the in the same column and same row so this is row number zero row number one row number two and this is column number so for column number you have to consider root at column zero and if we get, go one step left then it's minus one if we go one step right it's plus one and from here five we go one step further left so it's minus two and one step right so six is at zero from three we go one step left to reach seven so one minus one is zero four is plus two so the smallest column is lowest column is minus two so we take two there is no other element in minus two then minus one minus one only five is there top to down we are coming in zero in zeroth column we have multiple values one six and seven so first we will write one the topmost from top to down but among six seven there is a tie and there may be different uh, variations depending on what what condition is given in the question sometimes it will be given that uh, if there is a tie row and column are same you print them you add them in left to right fashion like six comes to the left of seven so six comes first then seven and in some other variation you may see that uh, you have to print in sorted order if the values are there is a tie again in using that uh, approach also it will be six and seven so you have to follow the question for that so zero is printed now comes the plus one column so only three is there plus two column only only four is there so this you can do using depth first uh, or uh, rather bfs approach some modification of that so now let's see the next problem so it's implementing the power function so there is a value so x raised to the power n and uh, let's see an example x is 2.1 n is 3 that means 2.1 times 2.1 times 2.1 that is 9.26 uh, so this is repeated I should have taken different example so you got the idea now let's see the next frequently asked question it's called random pick with weights so you have to uh, basically implement a pick index function which will randomly pick an index uh, from these values so index starts from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 so there are five indices and this pick index should return one of the indices 0 1 2 3 or 4 but uh, 
this should not be equally likely if all the values are same then the probab probability of choosing any index would be same but these values the input array will denote the weight of that index for example the weight of index 0 is 1 for 4 it's 2 that means the index 4 is twice as likely to occur than index 1 similarly index 1 is three times as likely to occur as 1 so uh, these are the weights so uh, to understand the problem uh, you have to think that this whole thing this color coding so this is index 0 this corresponds to index 1 this is index 2 index 3 and 4 so now if you if there is a 3 you add that index 3 times so it's like if 0 is at at zeroth index there is 1 so add 0 1 times at index 1 we have 3 so add 1 3 times next is 4 so add index 2 4 times and so on now uh, define a random function which picks one of these indices so how many indices are there 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 oh, sorry plus uh, so uh, 5 plus 2 7 plus 4 11 3 14 and 15 so 15 indices are there in total So pick one of the indices randomly among these 15 values. So let's say you pick this one. So you will return 2. So if you pick index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if the output is 7, you return 2. You go and see what is stored at that index. Similarly, if the output is uh, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you return 2. So in this case, uh, these indices will be prioritized in the order of their weights. Now let's see the ninth problem. It's called range sum of binary search tree. So you have a binary search tree and it's a very simple problem. You are given a low and high range and both the values are inclusive. So it's an inclusive range. So you traverse this uh, binary search tree and see if the node's value lies in this range inclusive of low and high. Then you add that to the result and return that value. For example, if the range is 6 to 12, then you come here, you see whether it lies in that range, yes. So you add 9, uh, then 5, it does not lie, 2 does not lie in that range, 6 lies because the ranges are inclusive. So you add 6, 9, then 12 lies in that range, 14 does not. So these three nodes lie th in that range, so you return 27. So uh, here you have to simply do any of the traversal methods, any traversal will work. and you keep track of a result so it should take uh, linear time next is uh, valid palindrome so you are given a sentence which will contain uh, letters english letters in capital small you will have non alphanumeric characters also so you can have numbers also so uh, what you have to do you have to remove all the alphanumeric characters from it and uh, convert everything to a small letter small english letter and then see whether it's a palindrome or not so first and last should be same so if you see this is the input and we have removed al non alphanumeric characters comma and spaces and converted capital letters to smaller letters and then compare the first and last characters second and second last so if these are matching then we will return palindrome so I hope uh, these 10 problems would be helpful to you in preparing for Facebook uh, programming interviews. Uh, so please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.